If anyone causes one of the little ones, those who believe in me, to stumble, it will be better for them if a large millstone were hung around their neck and they were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life maimed than with two hands to go to in, into hell, where the fire never goes out. And if your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life crippled than to have two feet and be thrown into hell. And if your eye causes you to stumble, pluck it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into hell, where the worms that eat them do not die, and the fire is not quenched. Everyone will be salted with fire. Salt is good, but it loses its saltiness. How can you make it salty again? Have salt among you yourselves and be at peace with each other. Amen. Now, this speaks to us causing one another to stumble. And it is something that we shouldn't do. And that starts from the pulpit down. None of us should be causing each other to stumble. No lying about the word, no self-edification, no you are better than they are, none of that. We should all be trying to lift each one, each other up. If anyone causes one of these little ones to stumble, and these little ones, it's not talking about age. It's talking about, as it says, those who believe in me to stumble. And it doesn't matter what age you are. If we cause you to stumble or to go away from Christ, there is a problem. And it tells you the answer to that problem. It would be better for them to have a large millstone hung around their neck. Now, this is a huge weight huge it's a huge stone and thrown into the sea meaning you would drown it would be better for you to be thrown into the ocean and drown or the sea and drown than to cause one of the little ones who believe in Christ to stumble so that means anybody who believes in Christ if your hand causes you to stumble cut it off it is better for you to enter life maimed than with two hands to go into hell where the fire never goes out. Ooh, cut that up, cut that off. And there's a punishment for it if you don't. And if your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter the crippled the life crippled than to have two feet and be thrown into hell. Cut it off. Punishment. Thrown into hell. And if your eye causes you to stumble, pluck it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into hell. Now, he, he keeps telling you that you'll be thrown into hell, so I don't want you to think that hell's not a real place, because it is. But when he tells you, when he's speaking of these things to cut off, he's telling you, cut off anything that causes you to stumble. And he, he relates it to your body. But... It's really just talking about the closeness of these stumbling blocks. Yes, your hands can cause it. Your eyes can cause it. Your feet may cause it. But the closeness of these things that get to you that make you stumble can be that close. But if you hear the wrong word, cut it off. Get rid of that word. Don't listen to it. If you are reading your word... Even when you hear the wrong word, it will automatically be cut off because you already know what the word says. The word is already in you. And when you hear a different one, a different word that's not of God, you will know it. Study to show thyself approved is such a major, major verse. A workman unto. So you got to study so you'll know what these stumbling things are. You can get away from them. And you're going to be tempted. The stumbling comes from us being in the world. When we do of the world, we stumble. When we do of the Lord, we don't stumble. And we are in the world, so we pray for strength to do of the Lord. We can wake up and do the world with no problem. But to do the way of the Lord, you got to sacrifice. Be a servant. But more importantly, you got to call on the Lord and depend on him. And when you hit that stumble, 
you have to repent. Because there is a punishment. You'll be thrown into hell. But listen to what hell has in store for you since you think that this world has a, has a good reward for you. The worms that eat them. Talking about your eyes, your feet, your hand. The worms that eat them, they don't die. Hold up, they don't die? You mean this is forever? As uh, Outcast used to say, forever, ever? Forever. And the fire is not quenched. Remember the rich man was asking Lazarus, could you give me a drop? Could you could you give me something to quench this thirst? Once again, the fire is not quenched. It will not stop. Eternal glory, eternal damnation. No need to scare you into it. It tells you what it is. Everyone, it says here, everyone here, will be salted with fire. Now, that's pretty wild. Because everyone that's going to be there, <laughs> they're going to be salted with some fire. They will have no choice but to be salted with fire. That's what happens in this situation. You don't get away from the wrath and the punishment of the Lord when you trip up, make one of his stumble. And you shouldn't want to make him stumble. You should make them want to learn more about God. Do not oppose anybody's opportunity to get to know the Lord. Do not stand in the way and tell them to come back later when they're trying to learn about, the God, about God. If we abandon sin in our present, we will have a victory in our eternal. And we need that victory. We want that victory. And being salted with fire is not a compliment. Being salted with fire, everyone will be salted with fire. Everyone will be burning. Salt is good, but it loses its saltiness. How can you make it salty again? Uh-oh. There's a question. How can you make it salty again? Wow. Jesus answers you. Have salt among yourselves and be at peace with each other. Let, let's, do, let's say that again. Salt is good, but if it loses its saltiness, how can you make it salty again? Have salt among yourselves and be at peace with one another. Woo! Woo! Be at peace with one another and have salt with one another. Add to Christ's people. Do for his people. Do not forget about Christ's people. Love one another. Be kind-hearted to one another. Tender-hearted to one another. If you want, if you lose saltiness, here's how you get it. He answers it for you. Ooh. Amen.